Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Uh -huh. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So, you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. If you want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken. And now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Woo! <laughs> it would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean... There is no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Oi! Hold it right there, small fry. I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there. But it looks to me it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic! In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, Smart Fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you got a problem. And you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. There's a real peculiar cave towards the back side of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Guess you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely gonna need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't empathize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart of every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Oi, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it, I've repaid my debt. I'm done, you take care of the rest. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Faror's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Oh! <laughs> 
That garb you wear, could you be the legendary hero? Has the king at long last found the hero of time? What is the matter? Do you not understand the ancient Hylian tongue? So, you're not the hero of time. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing, and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Mm -hmm. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people. But to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happened, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin! Are you ready, my children? We are not, oh great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened! It is Makar! Makar! What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. No, it is not that, oh great Deku Tree! Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods! What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... <sighs> Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region, is a vile place that is home to evil. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier 
than my Korok children. Yet, I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. Oh, I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it.
It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right! We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin! Oh, Great Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. This place, too, has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Look, Link. Do you see it? What has happened to this place? Oh, 